Hi and welcome to your next lecture in Computer Science for Everyone. So far, our programs have been something that starts at the beginning of the main method and sequentially goes, or even splitting into various parts with if statements, goes from the beginning to the end and then it finishes. However, we can repeat some parts of the program so that we do something more times. For example, if we wanted to ask the user for their age, we could repeat the asking of the question many times so that we gathered multiple ages for multiple users, for example. So let's see how we would program this. It would be similar to the if statement. The if statement does something if a comparison is true. The while loop does something while the comparison is true. So it is very similar. When the comparison stops being true, the repetition stops. So this is how we would program this. While, instead of if, and then between the brackets we have our comparison, or the true keyword in this case. Then we have two curly braces, an opening and a closing one. And between those two, we do the things that we want to repeat many times. If we do while true, we would be repeating this infinitely, and we would never be able to get out of it. In program, this is called an infinite loop, and it is highly suggested that you stay away from infinite loops. We can obviously change the true into, just like we did it with the if statement, 5 equals equals 5. This would always be true. Change one of the 5s for a variable. While x is 5, we do something. And there is a very simple way to break out of this loop. For example, decreasing the value of x by 1 every time we repeat. So in the beginning, we would be at the very top of the loop. x would be equal to 5. We would do something and then get to the end of the loop and say x, which has the value 5, now is equal to 5 minus 1, which is 4. Okay, so x is now 4. Then we go back to the top. Is x equal 5? The answer is no, x is not equal 5, it is 4. So we wouldn't repeat this loop again. We would just continue from here with the rest of the program. So we can do this. We can get x, decrease its value by 1, and then suddenly x is no longer equal to 5. So we break out of the loop and we continue. Something else we could do is this. Make x equal to 10. And then while x is greater than 5, we do something then we decrease the value of x. So in the first time, x would be 10, we would do something. x would be 9, we would do something. And then again and again and again, five times, until x is no longer greater than 5. So this is pretty much the basics of the while loop. So in the while loop, we're going to repeat something while the comparison is true. And inside the body of the loop, we can do anything we want, just like in any other part of our program. And when this stops being true, the repetition stops. So let's go into the next video, where we will try to program some while loops and clear out any doubts you may have with them. Stay tuned, and let's go into the next one.